Hello, hello, hello. My name's Sam. Um, this is an intermediate English class, and today we're reading an article about something called sitting disease. So come on in if you think that you sit on your butt too much. Um, if you're watching on YouTube or on my uh, YouTube channel, you can join classes by going to verbling.com. Uh, you can add me on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash samantha.teacher. And also you can book private tutoring sessions with me here if you need private lessons. So yeah, come on in. I'll just wait for you guys to join. And there's a link to the document that we're using um, attached to the class. So come on in. I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm just going to put this up on the screen while I'm waiting. Okay. Here it is. Sitting disease. Sitting is the new smoking, it says, even for runners. So come on in and we'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I also, also have a Facebook page. I can put that up here too. I think that's the link to my Facebook page, but I'm not sure. So, yeah, lots of Facebook. Hello! Omar's yeah. back. Veronica's back. Veronica, you're back. <laughs> yes. I don't know if you heard me. I was like, bye, but you're, I think you're already gone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't think... Oh, oops, that last link was bad. Okay, I'll, I'll add it there. Facebook, Samantha, Verbling. There it is. No, I did it again. Oh my gosh. Hi, who is Redneck E? What's your name? Who are you? Yes, nice to see everyone again. Um, for those of you who haven't met me, I'm Sam. I'm from Canada. Um, I live near Toronto. I live in London right now in Canada. And... Yeah, that's about it. I've been teaching on Verbling for like a year and a half, but I've been very busy, so I haven't been here, so I'm back. I'm pretty excited. Um, hi, Caravan? Kervan? Hi. How do I pronounce your name, sir? Uh, how you want. Oh, dear. <laughs> how will I ever choose? <laughs> yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Turkey. I believe we've I met before, right? What? I think I've met you before. I'm not sure. Maybe a while ago. Maybe. From Turkey. And I live in Istanbul. I would love to visit Istanbul. Really? Yes. Yeah. It is because a fascinating, fascinating and romantic city. I've heard it's like one of the most beautiful cities and I'm really sad because I haven't been there yet but one day. <laughs> yeah. um, I hope so you already visit. <laughs> Welcome yes, back, Ali. Yeah, nice and Norel. Omar. Hi Samantha. Nice to see you again. Hello, hello. I like your picture too. It's very like festive. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's Christmas. from Christmas. <laughs> yes, it's a Christmas picture. How many does everyone probably not everyone in class celebrates Christmas? Veronica, what is it like in South America? In Chile, do you do a lot of Christmas celebrations? Yes. Yeah. I thought so. Yes. Mm -hmm. In the Christmas Eve? Yeah. Christmas Eve. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice and, and it's very family uh, experience. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. The, yes, where you immediate like, family. Uh huh. Yeah, I had a huge yeah. Christmas this year. So much family. Um, it's actually funny because half of my family lives in England and half of it lives in Canada. So we Skype each other. We both have our Christmas, and then we go on Skype, and like everyone gets to see each other. It's kind of fun. That's uh, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who is this? Mac Hi, Macron. Macron. Interesting name. Macron. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello, everybody. Nice to see you. Yeah. Where, where are you from? 
I'm from Russia. Russia, cool. Nice to meet you. I'm Sam. I'm from Canada. I'm nice to meet you too. You. <laughs> um, okay, so this is a reading class. We're going to do some reading and some talking. Um, it's about something called sitting disease. So I'll just put this up for a second. I gave you the link, and it's attached to the class. Um, so this first part, maybe we'll start on the left. Ali, could you read this first little bit for us here? I can make it bigger. There we go. Uh, do you work or study at a desk for many hours uh, a day? Is the coach your favorite place to spend your evenings? If yes, you may have sitting disease. <laughs> In this lesson, you will uh, read uh, six tips to pre prevent uh, sitting disease. You will also discuss her health-related issues and work on perfecting your posture. Good. <laughs> um, one quick thing, Ali. When you have a question, your voice should be raising at the end. So, for example, do you work or study at a desk for many hours a day? Is the couch your favorite place to spend your evenings? So when you read questions, it goes kind of like this. How are you? goes up at the end. When it's a period, it comes down at the end. Okay. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I just think it's a funny topic because I totally have sitting disease. But So does anyone here sit a lot? <laughs> uh, me too. Ali? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I also. Why uh, does everyone sit so much? What What do you do during the day? It, it's about my work. Uh, uh -huh. I'm uh, an accountant. I have an accountancy office, accounting office. Right. Uh, my work uh, is uh, 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 doing uh, my work uh, on, on the computer, and I am sitting. So you spend a lot of time sitting at a desk, right? Yes. Okay. Does anyone else sit a lot of the time? I do. I do stay for more than six hours. Six hours a day? Yeah. Just studying English. It's crazy. <laughs> You're addicted. I'm not addicted, but I have to. Yeah, but I have to. Um, hey, but I'm really getting upset when people correct my pronunciation. Uh -huh. So this is what, yeah, this is what makes me feel a lot on my desk, on my chair. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and also for um, uh, to improve my English because I have to pass an interesting and crazy exam, TOEFL, T O E F L. Oh yes, yeah. I know the TOEFL very well. <laughs> <laughs> when, yeah. are you, when are you taking your exam? Uh, I just take one last month, but uh -huh. I'm still short on my score for the speaking. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so yes, I must. Uh, I must. I may have to speak like native, so I have to spend more time on my chair. Uh, Improving this English. You know, you could stand while you're in class and kind of like, we won't even see you. You could be working <laughs> out and you're like on the treadmill. Yeah, yeah. We'll thanks for the tip. Yeah, thanks for the tip. This is interesting. <laughs> yes, I like it. Yeah, well, thank you. For me, I haven't, um, I, I don't, I, most of you haven't seen me or met me because I've been off for a while, but. When I used to teach like eight hours a day online, um, I would sit sometimes and stand. <laughs> I could not sit for that long. After four hours, I'm like, oh, God. And people are like, are you okay? I'm like, no, I have to stand up. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's just, it gets to be, it's so sore on your, or it's hard on your back, I think. Uh -huh, yes. So if, if anyone's in class and I ask you to speak and you're like, <sighs> I'm like, oh, okay, you're on the treadmill, it's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't turn your webcam on or we'll be like, oh my god. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> does anyone else sit all the time? Me. Yeah. Who's me? Ra is it Raquel? Yes, Raquel. Raquel, nice to meet you. Yeah. 
nice to meet you. So you sit a lot. Because I'm a teacher and I stay in the classroom. I spend most of my time there in the classroom, but I have to prepare classes as well. And I also attend your Berlin classes. So finally, at the end of the day, I spend long, long hours keeping it by um, Hey, so are you a teacher? Yes, I am. Oh, cool. What do you teach? Language. What language? Spanish. English? Spanish. Spanish language. Ah, okay. Cool. So, you know the life very well, right? We sit a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a lot of and I have just come back from my classes and I'm eating a pizza sitting in my armchair. So, you can see how unhealthy it is. <laughs> Maybe when you're finished you can like do some yoga or something. Well, but it will be it will be tomorrow probably. Yeah, tomorrow. Later, later. <laughs> Not today, tomorrow. Not today. <laughs> okay, good. Um does that are you gonna oh I thought you were gonna show us your pizza. No, no, no. I like I don't want to <laughs> Okay, good. Um, who else sits all the time? Anybody? Uh, yeah, okay. actually, Sam. Okay. Oh, well, I want to I wanna just ask you about, you know, the guy who uh, teach, teaches you the, um, you know, when you want to get your license, the driving license? Is that right? Yeah, what? your driving instructor. Okay, yeah, because he sits a lot in the uh, car, you know, teaching people hour after hour. So I think that kind of job takes a lot of hours sitting in one place without moving. Definitely. And you can't really stand and drive, can you? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't really work. Unless you have a sunroof. Yeah. Like, stick your head the roof. Um, who else? Who else sits all the time? Anyone? Me. Oh, yeah. I think I feel like everybody. Me. <laughs> 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 um, was it Zaki? Yes, I'm sitting for eight hours to learn English on Webly. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to get everyone to like stand for maybe not right now because I don't know I'm kind of lazy, but um, Webly is going to kill people. <laughs> No, yeah. no, <laughs> don't advertise that way. That's bad marketing. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> it's it's only true if you sit all the time. You need like a uh, a standing desk or something, um, or lay. I have a bed here. I mean, I'll lay in bed and teach you guys laying down. <laughs> Um, okay, so we might all have sitting disease. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> it's possible. Um, so it's telling us we're going to read about here. Let me share share my screen. So six <coughs> tips to prevent sitting disease. <laughs> so let's see. Warm. Oh, here's here's really great posture. <laughs> so it says sitting is the new smoking, even for runners. It's an interesting quote. Whose posture looks like this? Have, have we heard the word posture before? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this is like, okay, very good posture, right? But I sit like this. <laughs> so I don't know about you guys, but I have terrible posture. Um, okay. So does this guy. How many hours do you sit on an average day? So we're just going to say the number. So for me, probably like, I don't know, eight hours, maybe longer. Eight. <laughs> Zaki, what about you? 24 hours. 24? <laughs> Are you in a wheelchair? No. <laughs> <laughs> don't you have to go to the bathroom? Yes, I will go, definitely. <laughs> Make some food. <laughs> yes, I average, uh, I think, seven hours, maybe. Okay, seven hours. Uh, Veronica? Four. And 
I, I think almost five hours. Yeah, because now I, I pass more time teaching on the day. Now, since I have been in Montreal. So, because right. before when I stayed in Chile, uh, I was working, so I was all the time sat up and running and walking fast, you know, for seeing the patients and yeah. So yeah, I I I I I, I did a lot of exercises in my career. Oh, yeah. I practice my career. And you're a nurse, you said, right? Yes. Yes. So you're always on your feet, right? When you're working. Yes. Yeah, and running around, yeah. Okay, so yeah. now, <laughs> now I pass more time sitting, and yeah, when I am very, very, very motivated in Berlin, <laughs> yeah, I pass hours, hours. Good. So in, yeah, improving my English. <laughs> Instead of saying pass, you would say um, I spend more time. Spend, spend more time. Spend. Yeah, yeah, good. Um, okay, Raquel, how many hours a day do you sit? I would say 10 hours a day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, too much. Too many, okay. too many. Too many. <laughs> okay. Omar. From 10 to 12 hours. Oh my goodness. Okay. Guys, we're terrible. Okay, Nurel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, 10, 10 hours. 10 hours a day. Okay. Right? Only stand up for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the other twelve hours you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> the other twelve hours. Oh, doing more activities, than sitting, sitting okay. down. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant I sit for twelve hours and I sleep for twelve hours. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Murray, what about you? Um, I guess five or six. Okay. Macron? Uh, if uh, driving is considered a sitting, uh, today I spend uh, 12 hours maybe. Ooh, uh. are you a truck driver? No, I'm uh, just, uh, I live outside the city and for, I, I, Every day, I uh, drive to my uh, working to my work uh -huh. office, and it takes uh, two three hours per day. Oh my gosh, that's a very long commute. <laughs> yeah. It is. I would yeah. never do that. <laughs> because in, in Moscow, traffic is very terrible. <laughs> oh, that's very yeah. expensive too, eh? Two three hours each way. Uh, no, it's both way. Uh, oh, both ways. Okay. Uh, that's that's still very long. <laughs> yes, I. Will. And then, do you work in an office? Yes, <laughs> yes, I work in an office. I make websites. I okay. web developer. Cool. All right. Here about how, many, how many hours a day do you sit? Hmm. Maybe eight, maybe nine. Maybe ten. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, okay, good. Ali. Uh, uh, it was uh, maybe six hours uh, for a day, but uh, after the verb link, uh, it uh, it being uh, ten hours maybe. Okay, so I guess we're averaging like six to ten hours. A day? Yes. Do you guys think this is uh, acceptable? No. <laughs> no. Boo! We, we suck. No way. <laughs> yeah. But I say, I always say, every night I say, tomorrow I will start. Change my habits. Every day, right? Yeah. Yes, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow mm. I will exercise. <laughs> Then tomorrow comes, and you order a pizza, and you know, yeah. next, the next day, the next day. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, let's take a look at their tips. Here's tip number one. Um, Ali, could you read it for us? Uh, number one. Uh, Ali? 
Yep. Um, set a timer. I read uh, what? Uh... Oh, you read the first part. Yeah. Right. Sorry. You're right. Um. Okay. Good. Thanks. Uh, Caravan. Caravan, could you read number one for us? He's muted. Caravan. Hi. Hi. <laughs> could you read the first one for us? Set a timer. First one. Mm-hmm. Set a timer. Yeah. If you work at a, at a desk, you probably sit for more than six hours a day. Set a timer every hour. Get up, stretch, and move around in about ten minutes every hour. Okay. This is the first suggestion. Will anyone do this? Yes. Yes, I, I have. Uh, Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I have application uh, that's called WorkRave. Uh, you can install that application, and every uh, after 50 minutes, 40 minutes, uh, it depends how you install, how you set up this uh, app. Uh, you can uh, your computer uh, will lock every 50 minutes. <laughs> That's so funny. So your app sets off an alarm and says, OK, time to stand up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, OK, does anyone want to stand up right now? I'm going to. I'm going to stand up. You guys can stay sitting if you want, but I. Yeah. OK, here we go. <laughs> Stand up! Stand up! Uh, and oh, Veronica, I can see you! Yeah, I have a blanket and it's too heavy! <laughs> okay, alright, you can't see me so I can stretch. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Okay, there we go! Okay, wait, while you're, while you're standing, we can like do some stretching, right? Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Samantha, this was yeah. the reason because I finished the last class before this uh, for doing exercises. So oh. I, I did my ten minutes for each hour. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and after this, I'll go, you know, I'll go run or something. No, I'm just kidding. I'll probably make coffee, to be honest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's look at number two. Um, Mirai, oh no, sorry, I skipped Mekron. Could you read number two for us? Okay. Uh, park far away. Uh, do you commute to work or school? If yes, you probably sit for up to 10 hours per day. Park far away from your workplace or school and leave you lunch in the car so that you have to go and get in halfway through your day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is anyone going to try this? Well, I'm going to park a bit farther because I just parked in front of the school door, the school gate, mm -hmm. so I have just to walk for one minute. So, it's so I will park Far, a bit farther. I promise. <laughs> I'm watching. <laughs> Does anyone ever um, look for the closest parking spot? Like if you're going to get groceries or I don't know, whatever. Do you usually park close? Of course. Yes, all the time. Oh my god. Me too. <laughs> One time I got a ticket because I just... <laughs> The handicapped spot. Yeah. <gasps> oh. <laughs> you rebel. Yeah. Yes, I know. I'm lazy. Lazy. Yeah. But what if somebody came in a wheelchair and you you were in their spot? Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't took them spot. Ah. I just parked in front of uh, the sh the market. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's uh, normally you cannot unless if you have someone with you in the car waiting. But there was no one. So you uh, you just created your own spot. <laughs> yes. Yes. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. like the ultimate lazy thing, I think. 
Uh, Go. Yeah. These spots are too far. I'm parking right here. <laughs> <laughs> I decide today I'm going to invent something new. Just park wherever you want. Uh huh. Free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Um, I, I usually don't use my uh, car. I am walking to uh, walking to uh, my office and come back uh, by walk. You sorry, I didn't hear you. You park. Uh, let me see. Try this hangout tool. Not but uh, I like to walk uh, for my work. Uh, I don't use uh, my car usually. Oh, okay. So you you don't drive to work anyways. Uh, yes, I prefer to walking. I drive everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> like around the corner to get coffee. <laughs> it's really <Nah>. bad. <laughs> really. <laughs> Um, in North America, we have a lot of drive-throughs. Uh, it's okay. not uh, so much uh, far uh, my office uh, uh, to my home. Okay, so you can walk. Yeah, it's uh, maybe ten minutes uh, by walking. Uh huh. Well, that's good. That's yes. something. Samantha. <laughs> yeah. What do you drive trust mean? Okay, I was going to show you a picture. Let me, one second, let me open one. Um, you're going to see why America and Canada is so fat. <laughs> okay. So, it's called a drive through um, It looks like this. You've probably seen it in the movies. So you drive up to the screen okay. and you yell out your order and then you drive around and they give you your food. <laughs> uh, yeah. So seriously, I'm not kidding. I'll take a picture for you. Like when you're driving anywhere in a busy city, every single restaurant, I swear, has a drive through So you can drive through and get your coffee. You can even drive through some um, pharmacies now and get your medicine. <laughs> What a shame. <laughs> so what yeah, do, really. Uh, what do you guys think? Making medicine. What do, you, what do you think about this? Uh, well, it's good. Not it's good to, to gain time. Okay. It's, so it's good. Uh, yeah, for me, for emergency. But not always, because you can walk. You have two legs. So <laughs> you, can, you can do that. So... <laughs> No, I me. like that. We, we could make a commercial. Like, you have two legs. Use them. Yeah. <laughs> I like this macaron. Mick Otto. That's, is that what it's called in Russia? Mick Otto? Mick Otto. Oh, that's... Okay. So you have drive throughs too, in Russia, right? Yes. Do you guys have drive throughs in your countries? Yes, oh. for Mac for For McDonald's? Yes. Yeah. It's not very common, but it's kind of fast food restaurants they have. Uh huh. And I would say like 80%, well, 75% of them have a drive through in Canada. So, <laughs> pretty bad. That's why we're so fat here, guys. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's look at number three. Um, whose turn is it? Mireille, could you read number three for us? Okay. Uh, meet and move. Can you walk or even jog while you're in a meeting? Mm -hmm. If your meeting is online, can you stand up and talk? If you don't have meetings, choose a different time to stand, such as while reading email or while uh, proofreading documents. Can <laughs> While you're in a meeting, <laughs> I don't, I don't know if that's. You would look crazy if you stood up and started like jogging around the table. <laughs> okay, so this is their suuggestion. Will anyone try standing while they're reading? Mm, yeah, when when I um when I have been uh in a plane, I very I. Uh, I'm very used to uh, uh, walk around the plane, uh, and then when I stand, stand uh, stop, I read. 
I read with a book, so then I am stand standby. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah. I used to, um, when I lived in uh, Paris, I lived in France for a year, and I had to take the metro, the underground, uh, to work mm -hmm. for like 30, 45 minutes a day, and I would always stand, but people, I don't know, everyone... Oh, donc ça, ça, tu parles le français? Uh, yes, but I'm, I shouldn't speak it in class. But I can speak after class. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, my French is um, okay. I can understand everything, and I'm I don't know intermediate, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. What about number four? Let's go back. <laughs> Um, Noral, it's your turn. Yes. Number four. Yep. Perfect your posture. Sitting for prolonged periods of time can affect your posture. Try not to slouch while you are at your computer. Make sure your feet are flat on the ground and your arms make an L shape. Put a reminder not near your desk that tells you to check your posture. Good. Okay, a little pronunciation. It's uh -huh. uh, prolonged. Prolonged. Instead of prolonged, how did you say it? Prolonged? It's a G sound. Prolonged. Yeah, well, this is French speaking, prolonge. Yeah, we like to uh, mix our yeah. languages together. <laughs> and now, you know what, I still do it too, and I'm learning Spanish now, so, like, who just asked me if I speak French? Mireille, you asked if I speak French, and I almost said si, <laughs> like, si, oui, yes. <laughs> your brain, like, it's so hard to switch. Um, and then... Uh, ah, this one is hard to pronounce, I think, for most people. So maybe you guys can just repeat after me. Um, posture. 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 Right. So if you look at my mouth when posture. I'm doing it, it's the ah sound. Pa. Posture. 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 Like posture. With the sha sound. sound? Yeah, so it's pa. Pa, posture, like this. Posture. Posture. Because when you have this, um, T U R E. Yeah, it's a ch song. It's a yeah. It tends to ch ch ch, like the word temp temperature, posture. It's the same thing. Um, but this word is tricky because you have to go from s to ch posture. Good, perfect. So, let's try this, okay? Um, do you know the word slouch? No. So this is no. slouching. This is like sitting up straight and slouching. Like, you kind of put your shoulders forward. You can see it from the side like this. <laughs> it's like bowing. Slouch. Slouch. Um... Yeah, it's basically just bad posture. So you you know, leaning forward and your body's relaxed and your back does this. Um, it says try not to slouch. Make sure your feet are flat on the ground and your arms make an L shape. I don't know what they mean by that. <laughs> oh L my arms. L. An L? <laughs> Hey, uh, it must be perpendicular. Uh huh. Uh, your uh, forearm and with your uh, should be flat. The like lower, that. the lower part of your arm with the higher parts should make a uh, perpendicular angle. Mm -hmm. And then they've suggested put a reminder note near your desk. <laughs> it says to check your posture. Will anyone do this? No. Oh, come on. Nobody. I think so. <laughs> Guys, you have sitting disease. We're trying to cure you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Number five. Um, Raquel, it's your turn. Yes, you're Um, avoid the couch. Sorry, Raquel, I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yep. Okay, avoid the couch. Did you move from your office chair or your couch? Many people are long in front of the TV. Find ways to stay active while your favorite shows are on. Stretch, do yoga, go up, go. Okay. Does anyone do this? No. No. <laughs> it, it's uh, crazy. <laughs> you think it's crazy? So while you're watching TV, no one exercises or... No? No, just uh, enjoying the move. You, <laughs> run run you, on the spot, you, come on. <laughs> maybe you're watching a dramatic movie. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're running because you're scared. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> the killer is coming. <laughs> It's um, you know, the only of time when I see a um, movies or series, etc., uh, in the commercials, I <laughs> I go to the kitchen, uh -huh. so I walk or maybe run for food, <laughs> for snacks, for food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that I do exercise too. That counts. <laughs> you go to get food and then you sit down and yeah, <laughs> or for beverage, okay, for other things. Does anyone here um, go to the gym? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, exactly. I don't know if it's the same for you, but in Canada, there's a lot of televisions set up, or they're attached to the machines. So if you're doing cardio, you can watch TV like at the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have that? Yeah. No. So in my country, it does, it does not have. Oh, okay. I was say, going to say it's like this, but at home. <laughs> but we're lazy. The couch is more comfortable, right? <laughs> now my only exercises are to do table for internet, for videos, uh -huh. um, each two days, and walk a lot, because I don't have car here. So I have to walk to a supermarket, to a farmer's market, to every place that is very close to my house. For example, I have to use subway, I use subway. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been in Montreal? Um, for one week. Oh, you just got there? Yes. One week. Oh, wow, okay. So you can get in the habit of walking everywhere because you, you're new to the city. Right? Mm -hmm. But I have a map. So. Uh-huh. Cool. Mm -hmm. just listens to... I don't think uh, listening to music really counts as exercise, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you dance while you're listening to music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mental exercise. Yeah, it's ah, exercising your you. ears. <laughs> yes, hey, yes. <laughs> well, uh, we're really we're really stretching here for, for exercise. Um, okay, let's let's take a look at the next one. Okay, number six. Whose turn is it? Veronica. Be mindful of moder moderation. Our bodies were designed to move, which means that doing one thing for too long is not good for us. This includes standing, lying down, exercising, and especially sitting. Remind yourself that you can prevent heart disease, obesity, and fatigue, fatigue I don't know, yeah. by keeping your body moving. Good. So this one is pronounced heart. What? Heart disease. Instead of heart? Ah, heart disease. Heart, yeah. And heart disease. You tried to do the that E sound at the end. You made it an A, but we never do that in English. Never, never. So it's actually a silent E. So it's fatigue. Fatigue. Yeah. Fatigue. Yeah. Okay. Fatigue. Good. Thank you. 
Like yep. in French. What is the meaning? Fatigue? What does fatigue mean? Yeah, like in French, exactly. Mirai, what does fatigue Exhausting. mean? Uh, Exhausting. When someone is tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. tired, exhausted, right? Yeah. Do you see any other words in here that, that you don't understand? No? Um, okay, so it says we're designed to move, guys. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> So standing, lying down, exercising. Um, so it's it's warning us that we can, you know, stay healthier, right? What does moderation mean? Be mindful of moderation. What does that mean? Don't do, don't be don't be too hard to yourself. Yeah, and the word moderation. Between, between. Ba no, between. Not, maybe. not to do many Con or much control. To Right, good. Lots of lots of good ideas. Balance, control, kind of in between. Not doing too much of between one thing. minimum and maximum. Uh huh. Exactly. Mind, mind, mind. Might is that correct? Might. Might. Mind. Mind. Mind like this. M I D. The middle of something. Oh, mid. 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 Middle. Mm -hmm. Mid or mid? medium? Medium. In between. Mid. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So, yeah, exactly. You need to moderate what you do, right? Don't sit for 10 hours a day and exercise for five minutes. That's not very good moderation, right? So you have to be mindful. To be mindful means like to pay attention to something or think about it. Right? Okay. So I'm just going to zoom out. Well, I have just a question, please. Yeah, sure. Quick one. They say include, um, a, okay, doing one thing for too long is not good for us. Mm -hmm. This includes, includes standing, lying down, exercising, and especially sitting. But they didn't say studying uh, for too long. It's true. So, uh, studying is okay if we stay <laughs> studying. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, I think it's okay to study for too long as long as you stand up and you take some breaks. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I You're like, just wait, wait, wait. So, if I'm studying, I can sit, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Doesn't your back get sore? Do you guys find like yes, sore? Yes, a lot. Yeah, if you sit for too long. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. My here's our six. These are our, our six tips. Which one do you think is the most important? Number four. For Number me, four. for me. Okay. Number four for you. The posture. It's really, really helpful. Mm-hmm. Any other ideas? Avoid the cut. Okay. So stop being so lazy. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, well, for me, I, I want to go with the stretch. I, I will just remember my cat, how he stretched. <laughs> Cats are I, always stretching. Yeah, they, they're always lazy and stretching a lot. Well, it's good for them. Uh huh. Yeah, so, so which one is number, uh, uh, the, the number one? one. But, but just the stretching part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about parking far away? Do you guys think this is a good idea? Very important. Yeah. No. 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 Veronica <laughs> says yeah. Yeah. Not. It's, it's in the middle of the don't walk and walk. So. For me, it's a good idea if you if you have a car and you have to use that, mm -hmm. you you can park far away. Yeah, so it's kind and of to so force force yourself to walk a little bit, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Almost you walk a little bit. <laughs> uh huh. But you know what? It's it's kind of. Uh, uh, exhausting because if you are if you are buying some stuff from the from the mall and then you have parked your car far away from the place you know uh, 
So when you get those things from the mall, you know they maybe will fall, they maybe. So you need to have your car near the mall, just you know to make things easier. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I guess it depends on what you're doing there. Yeah. Yeah. So and it it now we come back to moderation, right? Moderating between like convenience and health. <laughs> What's the best thing to do? Um, okay, I'm gonna go down. So I think we're gonna skip this. <laughs> okay, some expressions. Useful expressions for describing discomfort. Um, Zaki, could you read the expressions for us? I have lost the circulation in my feet. I've lost circulation in my feet. Have we heard this before? No. If you if you lose circulation, there's a couple different ways you can say it. So I've lost circulation in my feet. You could say I've got pins and needles. Oh, I got. Or my feet are numb. Or, my feet fell asleep. These are all ways that we say it. And do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yes. When you sit a lot for a long time, you, your feet just start to sleep. Your feet are asleep. Yeah, they're asleep. Yeah, or frozen. You could say they're frozen. So you can say you've lost circulation. Or if you sleep, does anyone sleep on their arm? Yes. And you wake up like, ah, because your arm is asleep. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes... So can we... Hi, yeah. So you, you, Here's you another know. one. Zaki? Have a stiff neck. Good, I have a stiff neck. Have you heard this before? No. Um, no. Or you can say a sore neck. Veronica. <laughs> Funny how your mind works. That remember. <laughs> automatically start like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> so a stiff, yeah. Yeah. stiff neck. You can say that you have stiff, stiff or sore muscles. The word stiff just means like hard, and it's hard to move or hard to bend. So your muscles kind of feel stuck. You can say you have a stiff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, another one? My back is... Aching. Aching, yeah. Or it aches. So you can have a backache, a stomach ache, yeah. a headache, any sort of ache, right? So that's another thing you can say. Um, <laughs> here's another one, Zaki. I have, I have triple posture. Very good. Posture. 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 Very good. Terrible posture. Does anyone here have terrible posture? <laughs> no. Now nobody. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Did Murray speak? Yes, Murray. Murray has spoken. Right, Murray? Yeah. <laughs> Here's another one. Zaki? My butt is numb. <laughs> you sit for too long and your butt gets numb. <laughs> Yes. Or my butt. What does numb mean? Numb is when you can't feel it. So if, like, if your foot falls asleep mm -hmm. and you poke it and you can't really feel it, it's mm -hmm. numb. Or if you go to the dentist and they freeze your mouth, uh, yes. so you can't feel it, it's numb. Yes. Okay. Mhm. Mm has anyone heard of carpal tunnel syndrome? No. no. Yes. If yes? you if you see the uh, yes, a lot of time if you spend a lot of time in computer and mouse, uh, you move your mouse uh, and uh, you can get the uh, carpal tunnel yes. syndrome. <laughs> mm -hmm, exactly. And I saw Veronica like stretching her wrists, right? Mm -hmm. So it's something something in your wrist from too much typing, too much computer. I need to get up and move around. Or my muscles are tense. So these are all some expressions that you might hear. <laughs> You're sitting for too long. Um, 
Okay, a few questions to think about. Which professions put people at the most risk for sitting disease? So we mentioned a few of them. Secretary. Okay, secretary. I think taxi driver or truck driver. Mm-hmm. Astronauts. <laughs> Astronauts? Yes. <laughs> oh, but they get to float. <laughs> Okay, astronauts? People who work in uh, call centers. Good. Um, I don't even know what they're called, really. People who work in call centers. Uh, people who work in an office. Maybe. Yeah, office workers. What, what did you say, sorry? Office workers, people oh, who work office. In any sort of office, right? Teachers too, right, um, Raquel? Yes, but in my case, because I am also. Oh. Sorry, can you say that again? Yes, uh, that in my case, it's also because I'm very lazy. <laughs> that uh, some other teachers move much more than I do. That so I, like, I, can, I cannot complain <laughs> only my profession. O online teachers, maybe. <laughs> yeah, <you>. online <laughs> teachers. That's why some of us stand. Has anyone ever taken a Spanish lesson with Paulino? Paulino, he, he set up like uh, this big blue thing behind him and he has a stool and he stands up a lot when he's teaching and like walks moves around so we should we should all take lessons from Paulino <laughs> we should all be standing but we're lazy so you know <laughs> um, okay another question are uh, you yeah, Veronica. Excuse me. How do yeah. you say uh, people who works in a bank but uh, re um, doing the uh, re receiving money? Bank um, tellers. Bankers. Yeah. Bank tellers, bank tellers or tellers. bankers. Um, a ba a bank teller is the person who stands behind the desk and helps you. Um, takes your money and you know does things for you at the bank. Usually, a banker is someone who works in the office part of the bank. So it depends on on your job. Yeah. And would you just say bank cashier? Um, no, you would say teller. Okay. Yeah, bank teller. It's a strange one. Um, because for most things, it's a cashier or a secretary, depending. But for a bank, we call them tellers. And then the bank machines, you know, we call them bank machines, ATMs. Mm. Mm. Or you can call them, um, it's not really very common, but an automatic teller. So, um, Okay, here's, I wanted to use this question because of what they've got there, a couch potato. Has anyone heard this expression before, a couch potato? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Almeida Simpson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. This <laughs> syndrome. Yeah. So are you someone who can't sit still, or are you more of a couch potato? Is anybody here a couch potato? Not really. I'm no. a bit, but not a real couch potato. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> it depends. Anybody else? No one wants to admit it. We're like, no, we're not couch potatoes. <laughs> I am sometimes. Um, when I'm sick. Yeah. <laughs> Only when you're sick? Aside from that, all I do is walk. I just walk all day. I walk and, you know, I'm, I'm always, you know, stretching. And, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm more of a chair potato. I'm always in my chair. <laughs> um, okay, so one more question and then we'll head out. So why do people from your or our generation spend more time sitting than in the past? Do you think that we sit more? Then past generation? Yes, because we have lots of uh, facility. Uh, by, by sitting, we can uh, check everywhere what's going on uh, through internet. That's why uh -huh. we are lazy. 
in the in the olden days we don't have this type of facility to do like such like this thing so in these days in this generation we are using internet mobiles by sitting one place we can call we can talk to everyone and by sitting at one place so do you think the internet is like a huge cause of this yes maybe okay. so that's yes. one reason the internet what's another reason uh, not the only internet uh, maybe uh, uh, many nations uh, doing some uh, work instead of uh, us right so a lot of office jobs so a lot of sitting in the workplace now yeah. Macron yeah good point television TV, I think it's, movies. Mm -hmm. I think it's the technology in general. Yeah. Okay. Technology. Good. Let's, let's, technology in general, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Any other reasons? What about? F oh, games. Good, Veronica. Games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So instead of saying the player, we would call it like the game game systems. Games. Game systems, yeah. PlayStation, yeah. Xbox. Mm -hmm. Is anyone in this class a gamer? No. Um, addicted to no. addicted to what? You? <laughs> to, to video games. What kind? Uh, you know the ones that are running or which, which we can play on uh, the X Xbox. Ah, okay. So you have an Xbox. Yeah. I have a PlayStation <laughs> and a Wii. And a Nintendo DS <laughs> and an Xbox, <laughs> but I don't play them that much anymore. Angry Birds. Okay, so we have games on our cell phones. Uh, what about food? Do you think that our diets have changed at all? Yes. For yes. people who can buy this food, this kind of food, because. Uh, is is really more expensive than the fast food, than the unhealthy food. Uh huh. Yeah, it's true. But so, not for everybody. Like fast food, or you can um, order food for delivery, right? So they mm -hmm. bring it to you, uh, and you don't have to yeah. do anything. <laughs> you don't have to get groceries. <laughs> Yeah, you can just call, and there's your really unhealthy dinner. <laughs> so that's probably another reason. Um, okay, good. So you guys have this document, and there's actually lots of other stuff in here that we didn't get a chance to do. So there's some vocabulary, um, comprehension questions, and on the next page there's even more. So lots, lots of stuff you can work on there if you want to. Um, and does anyone have any questions or anything you'd like to add? Before we go, yeah, uh, Samantha, I oh. I have a question since a lot of time. <laughs> uh, when you want to say um, that something is sad, uh, some situation, for example, and you say I I have listened this expression, what a pity. But if I want to say uh, I don't know if it is if is it is correct. <laughs> uh, what a pity. Yeah, yeah. We, can, we say what a pity or we can you can say what a shame or that's that's a shame. Uh -huh. um, but pity is correct. I think shame might be a little bit more common um, but okay. if we use it more mm, you use it when something's sad but usually we use it when something is like disappointing or something bad happens. Um, okay. So not necessarily something, I mean it's probably a sad thing, but it's more for something bad actually happening, like in the news, um, that sort of thing. But yeah, you can say, oh, what a pity, or oh, that's a pity, or that's a shame, what a shame. Uh, yeah, good. Thank you. Um, also, Veronica, when you asked your question, you used the word listen. You said, I've listened to this, but there's a difference between listen and hear. Can, can anyone tell me the difference between listen and hear? 
listen is something that you do consciously, mm -hmm. that listen to someone because you want to, because you are paying attention, and mm -hmm. here it's just the, the unconscious. Yeah. Right. Um, so yes, this is something that comes to you, although you may not want. Exactly. So when you listen, it's it's consciously or intentionally. Like you listen to music, right? Uh, you listen to the radio. You listen to your friends when they talk to you. If you hear something, it's like, oh, I hear birds chirping. Um, I hear a lot of traffic. It's something it's that. You, yeah, it's unintentional. So you wouldn't say I've listened to this phrase. You would say I've heard it because you've just heard people yeah. say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, okay. Good. Any Thank other you. questions? You're welcome. Questions? Comments? No. Okay. <laughs> um, thanks, guys. I'm teaching another class in an hour. Um, I don't know what it is, but maybe I'll see you there. Oh, okay. We're doing advanced pronunciation. So can come hang out with us in an hour. Go for a run or something. Go do some yoga. <laughs> right now. Please stand up. Stand up. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Bye, Thank, you Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.